Okay guys, Dark Spider here, and we're back to the same place that I was last time, where- oh, 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 literally the same place. Well, not exactly. I guess I killed a couple of those guys. My health is significantly better. My shields are very bad. Um, but then I killed a couple of these guys here, but I just learned that, like, I don't think- I think some of the, the commander type ones, where it's just like, if they see you for any extended period of time, you just- you just- you screwed, man. Is that gonna lure anything? Is that gonna lure anything? Okay. Okay. The secret of what we gotta worry about is that thing right there, which we blew up. Because it's a suicide bomber. And they're the fucking worst. Because they just, just, they just eat you. They just eat you alive. Those things, whatever. Who gives a shit? They're just little shitty grav bikes. A grav bikes. I don't know why they're a grav. I mean, actually, it's obvious. They're probably anti grav, is what that means. But, um, I don't know. I think a grav is a little bit of a silly term for it. Um, can we just get somebody's attention? What we want to do is... Oh, yeah, boy. That's what I like to see. We did it. I mean, there's still stuff over there, but I feel like that was a significant portion of the force. We've got great shields, we've got great health. And we got a bunch of ammo still. Oh, this mission's hard. But it makes sense because this is apparently very close to the Loyalist Central Command. If I am correct in that understanding, because this is Necropolis. This is where the whole thing started fundamentally. Um the colony ship that originally started the colony here kind of oh this isn't going to be a problem at all there's just two guys left um um the colony ship crashed and it was only through people who were heroes and great workers and like engineers or whatever that saved the colony ship to the extent that it was saved at all um and this is like where they started that's where they have like all these shitty prefabs and whatever but it's just kind of like honorary statue place now of the heroes of solo nombre the place where it all began i guess um but oh well Central for the Loyalists is somewhere, but this is also where they have big, um, the Orbital Defense Cannon stuff, and, like, the book comes here. God, that mission was tough. <sighs> this game's getting harder and harder, and I'm not getting better. <laughs> um, I'm always in love. I'm always in love is really fucking hard, and I decided to go in and try to play it as Toro, or as the Toro, I guess it's Price, Prices? That's his name, because the Hus is Graf's Hus. Anyway, whatever. I tried to play with the Toro, and just got fucking owned every time, and it was embarrassing. So you're going to see some editing, because I probably talked about this a little bit, and then immediately said how fucking hard this is. But I think I'll figure out the secret is that because this is in the number one slot, is that it's what you're supposed to take, and it makes it way fucking easier. So... Let's just try to do this without fucking up. Because I tried it a little bit, and it went way better, but there's no guarantee that it will go great this time. So who knows, maybe you'll see more editing. I'm just gonna show you the win. Because fucking, I don't want you to watch like, God, I don't even know, six or something failed attempts in a row. Guess what, it's kind of fucking boring. 
It's like, surprise! Watching somebody fail a bunch isn't an exciting video. I guess, unless maybe you're into that. Ah, oh, shit, I don't mean to fucking fuck up that ammo. I want that ammo. Although, I'm okay on the ammo front. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, okay. It's not going spectacularly, but it could be going so much worse. Positive. No alarms. Negative. Very low on shields. Positive. Cool explosions. Um. Oh. Hello, friendos. And by that I mean enemies. Holy shit. Not setting off the alarm makes this incredibly easy. Or I guess not incredibly easy, but so much easier. Guess what? They don't set off the alarm. You know what's a thing, and I don't know if I ever explained this, but the game explains it very well. It's like, hey, if you don't set off the alarms, um, the people don't turn on their shields, which is fantastic. Although, actually, if you read the book, it doesn't make any sense because it seems like everybody has their shields on all the goddamn time. But whatever. Um, and I'm just gonna fuck shit up because I feel confident this time. Alright. Maybe I'm sitting here complaining about A-Gravs, a and that was my mistake. Because this is the A-Grav for me! Or, or, I mean, I'm just supposed to use it this mission. Because guess what? It fucks up everybody's fucking day! Um... Yeah, look at that. Mission complete. Oh, holy shit. If you watched all the... If, if, I'm not going to include them, Liz, like I said, but... If you got to see all those embarrassing times that I was a failure... You'd be like, holy shit, that's embarrassing. And I'd be like, hey guys... You're absolutely right. And that's why you didn't get to see them. And I'm sorry if you wanted an unedited, un-whatever version. You don't get it, because it would be really fucking boring. But... Holy shit. I think that means that... <gasps> what is this? There's a little bit of lore. Holy shit. I think we'll actually read this one together, because... I haven't read it yet, because obviously you're watching me beat this game as I'm going. Um, <clears throat> a word of gratitude from everyone back at the Solo No Break Concern and associated sub-corporations for your exemplary service. While you may later regret never being able to return to Solo No Break alive, we hope you are relieved to have escaped it that way. After some much-deserved rest and relaxation and a peek at your bank accounts, please be sure to check back with us in later for freelance work. We always have contracts available for seasoned brigadors. Holy shit, we left the planet. That's probably the last mission. Because what it says... Um... We are, these are, okay, so yeah, these are the last four Brigadors. And so, no Braille Live. Um, if we take too long, they're not going to pull us out, but they pulled us out and gave us a shitload of money. As you notice, too, we, well, I have $72 million now, but I also spent a lot of, like, I probably had over $100 million total earned at this point from just campaign. Wishy shit, no, way more than that. Maybe 200 almost. Because I pissed a lot of it away on all the lore, all the intel, and all the 
What? I don't even remember. You know what? Let's look. Acquisitions. Ah, this guy's face freaks me out. Because he's a spacer and they're weird. They're a whole different thing. Anyway, the lore purchased. The intel purchased. The operations not purchased. The equipment purchased. The vehicles, eh, probably not yet. We'll work towards that. Here's the Buckmaster. This was in the. God, this was in the book. Look, we still can't even uh, afford Persecutor James. Wonder why? What's Persecutor James? Want to take a bet? I bet that he's Spacer. You can afford Kennedy Spitz. I suppose the thing, too, is I'm trying to see if any of the people from the book were in here, but I don't think they are. Level Archer. No. I wish I could remember the characters' names distinctly, but it didn't make sense, because... Man, you know what? I don't want to spoil the book, because if you want to look at the book, read the book. It's cool! It's fun. If you like mech combat stories, enjoy it. Okay. Let's try this one, and I know I've been doing, like, two missions per video, but I kind of fucked up and had, like, the end of one in there and then one full one with some editing shit, and uh, so whatever. This one just says moderate loyalist, so maybe this is kind of an easier mission? Let's check. Whoa! Who the fuck are these people? Man from Volta. This is a character that we can buy there, but we haven't bought yet. And totally new. Conan Gatling gun and broiler laser. So he's got the laser shotgun and whatever. <gasps> Here's the Buckmaster. Oh man. She looks pretty cool. Thunderclap laser and faker mortar. Fence. Hey, that's Johnny Five Aces. Looks like if my face were very narrow and I trimmed my beard quite neat. Weird. And Arlo. Hey. Excuse me, the auditor's lore is that, like. Whatever, he kills everyone. You know what? Whatever, let's try the can more. Like I said, it's normally like. You're supposed to go with whatever you're supposed to go with first. Like, the first one that's. Oh, what the dicks. I'm surrounded to start. And I pushed my mouse off the edge of the screen. So, is that the secret to this mission? Is that you have to blow up the thing and then post that you're going to have to deal with all the bullshit? Can I just try to deal with some of the bullshit to start? Oh, I can kind of cheat with the AK blah 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 blam, because watch this. Oh, they fixed it so it's better now, which means that it shoots through this fucking wall. And kills things, holy shit. I don't think that's supposed to be the case. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take a wild guess and say I'm not supposed to be able to just kill these guys through walls. Cause, let me guess. Oh yeah, the broiler laser is the laser shotgun. And this is a crazy machine gun. Hmm, although he's okay. I mean, to do this with. Because that shot, or no, the shotgun, the laser shotgun's good for clearing out shit right in front of your face. And this machine gun eats things alive. Uh oh, I ran into a glitch. 
boy, I hope that stops. Please stop. Please stop. Just stop. Okay, maybe you'll stop at the end of the mission. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping. What the hell? That was super fast. I'm just trying to... Fuck, we're at, like... This guy just has a paper plate stuck to his face. What about that? Can we talk about that for a second? There's nothing to talk about. He just has a paper plate stuck to his face. So what's the thing here? What are these? Are these just like bonus random missions? So like 22 is legitimately the end of the story. 22, 21. Wow, I can, I'm can. i looking at numbers and I can't read them right. 21 is legitimately the end of the story. And 22 and on is just extra fun stuff. Because now we got Kill for Love. Um. Uh. I don't know. Um. Cool. So the point is, spacers are doing something that they don't like, so they're just gonna fuck them up. <sighs> Something tells me this is going to be maybe a difficult mission, and that maybe, instead of tackling it here, I'll say, join me next time for when we try it? I'd like to play all the missions, and like to leave this game in a state of, I'm continuing playing it on my, by myself because I want to try out everything because I like it so much, and I want to beat all the freelance because that'd be fun. And make me better. But then come back and make videos of it when there's more levels. I don't know why I just detailed this whole plan to you to you guys. Because I feel like I need to say more to end this video. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next part where we do... Some more missions? Mm hmm.